With Halloween right around the corner, I have been dreaming about making caramel apples. They're sticky and sweet and a treat that everyone loves, and I'm gonna show you how to make them ridiculously adorable. You can find these cute little crab apples at your local farmer's market. A lot of times they're even in grocery stores. This is the perfect bite. Now, what pairs perfectly with apples? Caramel, of course. You can make caramel from scratch, or you can even buy it in these cute little tubs already made. You just pop it into the microwave for about 30 seconds at a time until it's ready to be dipped. So make sure your apples are clean and rinsed and dry. And using a chopstick or a little lollipop stick or even a skewer, just push it into your apple, and then dip your apple. I find that it's really easy to just kind of roll it once, swirl off the excess, kind of drizzle it off. And then I like to hold the apple upside down and kind of let that excess caramel just drip down before I put it on the wax paper. Now if you wanna put sprinkles on your caramel apples, you have to do it when the caramel is still hot. Over here I have sprinkles, candies, crushed cookies, these cute little spooky eyeballs that I found at the craft store. Just dip it in there, push it down, and then I think I'm just gonna do some of these little Halloween sprinkles on top. These are just the perfect size. I mean, who can eat an entire caramel apple by themselves? I usually just cut it in half and share it with someone. Have you ever seen those gorgeous gourmet apples that are covered in different colored chocolates and candies? Well, it's really easy. You can buy the chocolate candy melts and melt them, and they have every single color you could imagine. And then I'm actually gonna let this one set because I wanna drizzle other chocolates on top. So I have one over here that I've already done. In 1950, a Kraft Foods employee thought of a brilliant idea to print the caramel apple recipe on the back of the bag of caramels. Before you know it, caramel apples were popping up all over the country, and they're still popular today. Did you know that there are over 7,500 varieties of apples, ranging from everything as tiny as a little pea to apples as big as grapefruits? Now when you're choosing caramel apples, you wanna go with a nice, tart, hard apple, so you really have that balance between sweet and sour. The best caramel apple I've ever had was dipped in caramel, then white chocolate, then graham cracker crust, and then rolled in cinnamon sugar. It tastes like cheesecake on a stick. It was so delicious. I think I stretched it out to four days, just like taking little bites here and there. Another interesting fact is one of George Washington's favorite hobbies was pruning his apple tree. It relaxed him. These crab apples look so cute with the lollipop sticks, but they look even better when you add a real stick to them. You can get these at your local craft store. They're non-toxic. You just push it into the middle of the apple, and the presentation is adorable. I mean, what's not to love about these caramel apples? They're loaded with candy and chocolate and caramel, and they're so delicious. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Pop Sugar Girl's Guide and let me know what your favorite fall treat is in the comment box below. I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time.